What's going on guys? Michael here, 3D Print Everything, and today I'm going to go over a mod list for your bamboo P1S. So, I really like these bamboos, and right out of the box they're amazing. Um, they print accurately, they print fast. Um, pretty much since these have come out and been adopted by a lot of people, it seems like a lot of other companies are trying to uh, copy or emulate what they're doing, not necessarily copy, but but get their printers to this standard since the uh, the technology is here to do that. And I'm going to go over uh, those in a different video, talking about you know all the things that are awesome about the bamboo. This one, we're just going to talk about the mods. So <clears throat> first off, on the outside, you can see we've got some anti-vibration feet. So they do come with. Uh, where is it? I got a little stack of them here. Where'd they go? Yeah, anyways, I had an old stack of the feet sitting there, but I moved it. Um, so these, you can find on Thingiverse, they're just anti-vibration feet, but it also raised the printer up just enough. So as you can see, we've got some sound ending under here. And I don't know how well you're going to pick it up in the video, if you have a bamboo or not. But um, a lot of these mods are actually centered, centered around making it quieter. Um, and a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of, uh, what is it, quality of life. So, we've got a muffler on the back here with the fan. So when you're doing certain prints that uh, this back fan's on, this actually reduces the noise quite a bit. Now, the fan itself is just, oh, of course that came off. The fan itself is just, or the box itself, is a uh, the Flowmaster design. And then I made, of course, my glue on that just came off because <laughs> the magnets are pretty strong I made an adaption to it which I will upload and tag in this video uh, shortly after I post it of this file with 10 millimeter magnets I had some of the the 10 millimeter ones rather than I think the four mils that the original came with and I added these pipes to it because you, you know it just looks a lot cooler with exhaust pipes um, and then you might also notice we've got a poop shoot poop shoots probably one of the very first things you want to print as uh, the poop chute will definitely help out with all the junk coming out of the back of it. And then, and this is the super large poop chute. So this goes all the way around there. Another very small sound deadener is you can print a little, uh, a little plug for that, or you could just as well shove some foam in it. And if you've already noticed, we have some sound deadening. So this is the reflective sound ending. I specifically chose this one because it actually really brightens up the inside of the print area. So I don't feel like I necessarily need a uh, another light in here. So this light now bounces off all this reflective piece. And you can see kind of where I put it too. Um, we've got it in a lot of areas. You need to give a clean path around that so that's why we have one here and this was pretty easy I was able to just literally feel the heat uh, on the side of the printer and that was the only spot I don't have covered but this keeps the heat in a lot more it really really does and <clears throat> the only thing that really gets warm now is the glass plate right around the bed and then of course the top here but it's otherwise uh, not it, it also silences the printer silences it reduces some of those high frequency noises um, I noticed and I put a healthy amount of this sound deadening up underneath here on the inside I also cut to fit some sound deadening that's also where I hide my other plate but uh, so you've got sound deadening there and then a second piece there and I put one on the side and one on the back I mean and really it's I noticed a big difference on what that did alone. So those are honestly the mods that I've done to this. I know there's some other ones. I've seen tool holders on the side. I've seen some other things. I know having the, you, you know, it's not necessarily super important to have this right here, but it does help. You know, it keeps a little bit, of, a little bit more of the heat inside. I can feel it's warm here and it's like cold to the touch down here, but. Um, you know, it being uniform, I don't mind the reflective tape on the side of these guys and the otherwise sound quality difference I get sticking 
sticking the camera inside there to shut and out here it's quite quiet and then the last mod I would say is a battery backup battery backups are real nice to have because they uh, they'll keep your printer running at least long enough for you to shut it down or hopefully through brownouts it's, it's generally for like power disruption not necessarily uh, you know this isn't going to keep all three of these running to the end of their prints if I lose power for four hours but if I lose power for a split second or you know 30 seconds and it comes back on that's what that's for um, but yeah these guys are awesome if you don't have one yet I definitely recommend them um, and otherwise I really enjoy the uh, the quietness of uh, adding that so sound deadening feet muffler poop shoot and more sound deadening but yeah guys let me know what you think